what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A black man was pinned to a tree by a group of uncivilized white men who threatened to lynch him. Family, this went down in the year 2020, our Lord. Right outside of Bloomington, Indiana, at Lake Monroe. They called him all kinds of names, that the head of this, N word this, mother this. The mob told Box Booker that he and his white friends were trespassing and that they were on private property. But they only grabbed Box. They only attempted to lynch Box. His white friends stood by and demanded that they let him go, let him go. Well, they didn't really demand, they pleaded. Let him go, let him go. Oh, you're doing this because he's black. Let him go, guys, come on, guys, let him go. Let me tell you something, fam. If I'm with you, I don't care if we just too deep and some fools grab me and try to lynch me and you just standing around talking about let him go, just let him go. Fool, by that time I could be gone. You better spring into the action, man. That's our last time corresponding. So, it gets worse. I know. They finally let him go. The police is called. They call 911. Police comes out. Don't even question the guys. Don't arrest anybody. And then they leave. This is why we say defund the police. Because they don't do nothing. At least most of them don't. And most is enough to defund the police. We could do bad all by ourselves. So now the community is asking that the police officers who came out be relieved of duties. They want them suspended. And I would, I would go even further than that. They need to be fired. Now, they say a few hundred people gathered at Bloomington uh, at, at Bloomington Courthouse to demand that the police officers be arrested. At first, it was a peaceful demonstration till one fool in a red car came through and mowed two people down. Just ran over. Luckily, they survived, but this is what you're up against. Indiana is a stronghold for the KKK. All through the early part of the 20th century, they ruled Indiana. I mean, they left a bloody trail through Indiana. The governor of Indiana at the time, Edward Jackson, worked closely with the Klan through the 20s. So this is what they do in Indiana. It is as redneck and KKK as they come. It's a haven for racists. That's what they do. These dudes were trying to lynch a human being in broad daylight as strangers passed by. And they were just telling strangers, hey, mind your own business, get away from here. Go around, anybody got a noose? Give me a noose. They were very comfortable, like they had done it before. I'm willing to bet you they've done it before. And I'm willing to bet you also that the police that showed up, 
They got deep clan roots. Strap up and don't be afraid to use it. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?